I used to take myself out on dates, open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Good morning guys, Daddy welcome back to my plate. channel. Today, I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day because I haven't done one in a while and I just feel like doing one today. We're, this is the first official day of lockdown. It's quarter past 10. Um, I got out of bed at like quarter past nine just because it's Saturday. I'm just having a chill day. So I'm going to show you what I eat today. I've been kind of like... Hang on, let me put you down. Also, trigger warning, this video is probably gonna be talking about calories and macros, etc. from a fitness point of view. I've been watching Lucy Davis Fit and she is just like so inspiring. And like, I feel bad for saying like low calorie things, but from like a fitness and macro and like a, that type of point of view, it's completely objective. It's not me being like, oh my God, I, I want everything to be as low calorie as possible. It's not that at all. It's just about really me finding a way to eat as much food as i can while hitting like certain macro goals my goal at this point is to probably just maintain and build muscle as well which is kind of hard to do you kind of need to be in a surplus to be honest i definitely don't track super pedantically like i definitely eat over probably what i track keep in mind everyone's calories are going to look different if you're interested in, in being in a deficit or maintaining or in a surplus like everyone's going to be different like i've always had an idea about what my calories are <laughs> i just texted freya that i got out of bed at 9 15 <laughs> i'm like who is she and she's like treat yourself yeah i also don't do intermittent fasting anymore i found it really helpful when it came to weight loss because it does kind of shorten that eating hour window it's not for everyone, but I did do it for quite a long time and I really enjoyed it. But I kind of have, I've stopped doing that now for probably like, I don't even know, three months. It's been a while. So usually I go to the gym at 7am. So I will wake up, I will probably have a coffee or my pre-workout or both. This morning I had a coffee and I forgot to show you how rude of me. I had one of these X50 MCT and Superfood Coffee Revolver. It's vegan. It's 49 calories per sachet, which I probably prefer like before you speak coffee. I've just run out. I need to order some more because I think that's about 8 calories or 16 calories per sachet because it's got MCT in it. It keeps me like not full because it's a coffee but like it satisfies my stomach just remember that everyone's different if you are triggered by calories don't watch this video because i probably will be chatting about it but it's yeah from a fitness and like macro point of view so i think i don't know whether to say what calories i'm trying to eat so i'm five foot two i'm five foot two i wish i was five foot two i'm five foot i'm about 52.5 kgs at the moment like i pretty much fluctuate between 52 and 53 kilos like that's what I've been pretty consistent. 52.5 to pounds is 115.7 pounds. So that's kind of what I am now. So there are a bunch of different macro calculators out there. And like you can have a calorie goal, but then you can also have different macro goals within that calorie goal, if that makes any sense. So for example, if you're on a keto diet and you want to hit 2000 calories, your macros are going to look different to someone who's eating like a regular diet, if that makes sense. So for me, at my weight and my height, my age, etc., my activity level, that's another big one. Your activity level pays, plays a massive part into how much you're eating. For maintenance calories, mine are about 1,875, right? And that's pretty much what I eat. I would say I eat between that and like 2,000 a day, fairly consistent. And then some days I probably eat a lot more and then some days might be less due to whatever the heck's happening on. One thing I really like about this calculator, which I will link it down below, I, and I really trust her for some, you know when you just you get a good vibe from someone and she's certified, etc. If I wanted to be in a like mild surplus, so eating about 113% of my calories, I'd be eating 2,125. Same goes for wanting to be in a deficit. I'm not wanting to be in a deficit. Yeah, so that's kind of what my macro situation is just because I get so many questions from you guys regarding my macros. And I've never like said it because I don't want you to see me and be like, she's eating this many calories so i need to eat this many calories because it's not like that you could be exactly the same as me same high and same weight but you're probably not going to even eat the same calories because of different activity levels like if you're doing more activity you're going to need to eat more food everyone's different um when it comes to macros obviously there are so many different opinions about what you should be eating and like obviously there's the keto diet which is mild protein, high fat, low carb, and then there's high protein diets, which are just super high protein. And I feel like I just kind of have it in the normal range. 
to be honest. With that said, I don't eat super high carb. I definitely don't eat low carb. I feel like a lot of people think I do. I definitely have between 160 and 200 grams of carbohydrates a day. Some days that might be less, some days that might be more. Like, so I am rambling on for so long. <laughs> what am I doing? So like, like my breakfast, my pancakes has about 60 grams of carbs in it, which is like perfect. I eat as much fruit as I want. When I go out to like eat at restaurants, I will have like rice and stuff and sushi. And the reason why I don't really eat as much like rice and pasta at home is because I would much rather have like these noodles that I'm going to show you, a massive portion of those than a smaller portion of like um like white rice or pasta because I want to be able to eat more. I just I love being able to eat huge portions and staying within my macros. That's my favorite thing. High volume foods, huge salads, all these pancakes while still being within my maintenance calories. I also do track. I know that's not everyone's favorite thing to hear. It's to be able to hit my macros and stuff. I want to know what my protein is. I want to know what my fats are. I, like I want to know, I want to know what my calories are. I like, I enjoy doing it. It almost gives me a goal every single day and like something to do, especially in lockdown. Like, I don't know, I, I use my fitness pal to track I definitely don't do it every single day, absolutely not. I didn't expect to ramble on for that long, but anyway. After I get out of the shower, I'm gonna show you my pancakes, which if you've seen any of my videos, you probably know what they are, but we're gonna do it anyway. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new and go ahead and follow me on Instagram, but I will see you soon. Right, so I've just popped out of the shower, put some makeup on, looking a lot more presentable. It's now so much later than I would normally have my breakfast, but this is just a weird day. So, and someone's mowing the lawn, just started raining. I have no idea how I came up with this recipe. I think I just combined like bits and pieces that I saw from other people until I found like the right random quantities. So I start off with 100 grams of banana. I get so many questions. How do I get my pancakes so perfect? The key is firm bananas. Frozen can work, but not really well at all. <laughs> and when they're really soft, they're not as like round and perky. Firm bananas are the key. So yeah, like even as they're getting to be like this, this is a bit, like I would prefer it a little bit more firm. And I do 100 grams just cause that's like a good amount. 100 and then I'm gonna pop the rest of this in the fridge. I do have frozen banana as well for like smoothies and stuff. Then I'm gonna do uh, 60 mils of almond milk. And then normally I have egg whites and I do 40 mils of that because that brings it up to 100 mil. Of course, get out of the fireplace. For some reason in my brain, that makes sense to have it at 100 mil. But I'm gonna do, I don't have any egg whites. So I'm just gonna do one egg white from an egg. <laughs> so if you don't have egg whites, that's totally fine. Just do one egg white is about 40 mils anyway. Wow, stunning. It's literally, that was perfect. <laughs> 40 mils and then I'm gonna do one egg so then what I like to do is add 45 grams of rolled oats this is kind of what I feel like makes them different to regular protein pancakes because a lot of protein pancake recipes use just protein powder whereas I don't know I kind of like using oats they're really accessible and they have protein in them themselves they keep me nice and full really good source of carbohydrates I like using oats one thing that I changed I also add cinnamon I don't know it's a bit fun one thing that I changed from like my original recipe is I now add about five grams of protein powder it kind of helps make them a little bit more thick I don't know how to explain it and another source of protein so I use this is the Naked Harvest cinnamon cookie one I also love using the pancake batter one obviously because it's pancake batter so I do about five grams you could do more whatever floats your boat just add that in and then you can add baking powder. I usually do. I'm just gonna leave it out and see how we go just cause if I cannot add it, I won't add it. Do you know what I mean? And that my friends is the recipe. I blend it in a Nutribullet cause I feel like that's easier. I feel like you could totally do this without a Nutribullet. You could just mash up the banana. I've also got hundred grams of blueberries here that are frozen that I just like kind of let them defrost.
Another really important factor for getting these to be good or cooking well is to cook them on really, really low heat. Really low. I do spray a little bit of cooking oil and then I kind of like wipe it off. Make them nice and smooth. I also find that the batter kind of thickens over time. So I'm gonna do my test pancake. I don't know why I do this. I feel like you just do. One right in the center. Almost like prepped the pan, I swear. Let her cook. While I make my pancakes, I usually like to make my coffee as well. Cause I usually have a, like usually when I have this, it's after the gym. Like I will have my coffee in the morning and then I go to the gym, come home and then I'll have my breakfast and another coffee. So right around about now, I'm gonna flip it. Boom. Um, I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. And that, my friends, is how you make bomb pancakes. And then I just take it off. I find that it's so easy to do it with like a spatula like this. And then you can obviously make them as big or as little as you want. I usually do about three or four at a time. This is like more of a time consuming breakfast, obviously, but I'm really good at multitasking and I can do this really fast. Like I've got it down pat now, so it definitely doesn't take me too long, but I'm gonna make my coffee. <laughs> to arrange them in a circle. It makes it look really pretty. So for my coffee, I have this Starbucks cup that I got from Amazon and I've got my shot in here. I'm gonna pour the milk into this. Um, and I usually do about 150 mils of almond milk because I find that when I pour this into the shot, it like gets it all out better. You can't see what I'm doing. Satisfying a moment. And then I'm gonna put a bit of water in here to get the last bit out. And that's my coffee. So I kind of like multitask when I do this. Pancakes are nearly done. So I usually get them so they kind of form a circle like that. And then I take my blueberries that have kind of been like defrosting. You can defrost them in the microwave if you want, but I don't really care. I like adding some Chobani Greek yogurt, if you can see that there. And I just pop a little dollop in the middle, which is about 25 grams or 20. Just like that. And then I do some of this sugar-free maple syrup. And that, my friends, is going to be my breakfast. Like I said, I would normally have this much earlier in the day. I'm gonna eat this now, watch some YouTube, um, and then afterwards I'm gonna get stuck into some work. I will have the macros for this on the screen, but I'll check in with you guys when we have lunch or a snack. with some hair extensions so I don't normally get glam to cook my lunch. It is now 2 18 p.m. I'm quite hungry. The day is just getting away from me so quickly. So I'm gonna make my lunch which I'm so excited for. This is a new discovery inspired by Lucy Davis Fit as I've mentioned before um, but I'm just gonna get out everything. You can totally tailor this to however you want to eat. Like what have I written in my fitness pal? Okay so first I'm gonna get out tuna, Greek yogurt and avocado. And you can obviously pick whatever protein source you want. You could do chicken, fish, ham, eggs, whatever floats your boat. I'm gonna add 50 grams of avocado to that just to make it like creamy, give it some fat, some flavor. And then I'm gonna do 50 grams of Greek yogurt. I'm pretty sure. This is gonna be so creamy. I'm gonna add a bit of salt and pepper to that. A bit of garlic powder, just a touch. 
And I'm gonna mix this all together. I love Greek yogurt because you can literally make it into any sauce. Like you mix it with avocado and it's so yum. Like look how good that is. And I'm gonna do about like 250 grams of mixed veggies. Basically the whole packet. And then I'm gonna do some broccoli as well. Okay, then I'm gonna get my pan ready. And I'm gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna pop the bigger pieces of like broccoli and stuff into a container and put that in the microwave just so it kind of defrosts a little bit better. And then add back in the broccoli. Add some zucchini, just the side of them. So these are the noodles that I use. They're by the brand Slendia. There are a few different like versions of this in the supermarket. Um, I think there's like one that's actually a bit cheaper as well. They're made with cognac. So the ingredients are water and cognac flour. I put the whole pack in because it's like 11 calories per serving and there's two servings per pack. You will either love these or not vibe with them at all because of the texture. I think they're amazing when you put them in like a stir fry like this. So yeah, check them out. They have lots of different like types. So this is like the spaghetti, but there's angel hair, rice, um, fettuccine. And I think there's even like lasagna sheets. So definitely check these out if you're interested. I would normally add spinach to this as well, but we don't have any at the moment. So these are what the noodles look like. So they're kind of like a little, a clear, and I'm gonna add the whole thing in. It just helps add like so much volume to your food. I also love making kind of like an egg noodle vibe with this. So instead of using tuna, I'd use egg and like ham as my protein. I'm also gonna add a little bit of sriracha. Like it's just a huge quantity, which I love. Now I'm gonna add in the tuna. Mix that in. macros on the screen if you are interested but Okay, so I'm doing a voiceover for this part because right about now is when my parents got home. So for a snack, I just had two of these little rice cakes with some avocado. This is such a good classic snack because you've got everything. You've got fat, you've got carbs, um, and then there's a little bit of protein in the avocado. So I just chucked on some tomato as my snack with some salt and pepper. So, so good. I freaking love avocado and tomato. It's so yum. And then I also had some of my Renew Plus from Genora, which is my hair, skin and nails collagen that I take every single day. And then a little bit later on, I decided to have my famous cauliflower smoothie. So I started off with some ice. I did 100 grams of frozen cauliflower, 150 mils of almond milk. And then I added in one of these X50 revolver. They're kind of like a little energy drink, but like a natural one. And then I went in with my strawberries and cream protein from Naked Harvest. So, so yummy. This tastes incredible, guys. Like, honestly... Don't knock the cauliflower till you try it. And then I added some Greek yogurt in there as well. And it just comes out so thick and creamy. Perfect snack. Amazing source of protein. And then for dinner. Okay, this is also incredible. So I started off by peeling a sweet potato. This is kind of like my version of this Nando salad that I really, really love. So I just chop it up and I'm going to pop it in the air fryer. I think I did about 100 grams. I think, well, I weighed out 100 grams of it raw, but then it kind of gets lighter when it's cooked. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't really matter. 
Then I'm adding some garlic salt and some pepper and then this is actually some lettuce that my dad grew in our little garden which is so fun. So I got a massive plate full of lettuce and then I kind of just made this random dressing. It was like a little bit of water and sriracha and stuff. Um, so I just kind of like used that. It tasted fine though. Um, so I'm mixing that all together. And then I'm going to add some beetroot slices. It's so nice in a salad and I freaking love beetroot. So adding some of that, I think I did about 50 grams. Then I'm going to add some quinoa. Quinoa is incredible for you. Highly recommend. I added about 50 grams to the salad. And then I'm also adding some tomato as well. I'm really on a tomato train right now. Freaking love my tomatoes. <laughs> And then I'm just cooking up some chicken breast in a pan. I think I just add like some spices to it. To go for miles and, miles. and then I'll be able to use this during the week as well. Like I think I'm going to have pizza tomorrow and I'm going to pop that on top. And then I added 150 grams of cucumber, popped on me sweet potato, and then added about 100 grams of chicken. This is such a filling meal, but oh my God, is it so good. Everything just works together so well. Highly, highly recommend. If you guys try out any of these recipes, please tag me. I, I love seeing when you guys recreate my recipes. Well, they're not mine, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.